Okay guys, so we're back here using exactly the same ammunition as what I was when I did the original Lithgo 223 review and also the first rebarreled uh, Lithgo 223 review. Now, from the uh, rebarreling, I really wasn't that happy with the accuracy. I have to be honest, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, 1.2 inches is what we seem to hover around at um, 100 yards for five shots, which is just terrible. Um, you know, I'm not happy with that at all, so I'm hoping to really better that today. Um, if we do, guys, perhaps I can put it down to just the extreme heat that I shot this uh, in last time, um, or it may just need a little bit more use. But either way, I'm really hoping that I find something that this rifle likes, because it would just be a damn shame to see it go to waste from where it was originally, and it was just a fantastic shooter. So enough talking. Um, we'll do the same five shots there at 100, and hopefully it'll shoot uh, better than it ever has. Okay, so our first group here was the 52 grain spear and it looks like a massive improvement to what we had last time. We've brought that down to 0.6 of an inch. We come down to the OSA loaded with the 55 grain Game King. Unfortunately, we had a bit of spread there. We've spread out to 1.4 inches. Then when we come up to the uh, Hornady VMAX 55 grain, very nice there. I'm really happy with that. Yep, we're also down to 0.6 of an inch. Then uh, the Lapua 69 grain match. A little bit of spread there. I was hoping to get a little bit better with that, to be quite honest. But we're going to be at about 0.8 of an inch. Then when we come down to the Hornady uh, TAP, <laughs> it's done uh, what it normally does uh, through the lift go. Unfortunately, we've had a fair bit of spread there and it's blown out uh, about 2.7, 2.7 inches. So yeah, not too good there. But honestly guys, uh, pretty happy with the results. Okay guys, so I'm going to answer the biggest question that I've had since doing the last uh, review on the rebarrel 223 Lithgo, and that is, is it worth buying? Yes guys, it is. Um, I'm very, very happy, just personally, that I've got my rifle back shooting where it originally was, around that half inch, you know, so um, I can't ask for much more than that. I'm very happy to see that it's back because, to be quite honest, from the last time I used it, um, you know, I was pretty disappointed. Um, I wasn't happy with it and it just sat at the back of the safe and it's only because you guys have been pestering the hell out of me saying, Ozzy, please reshoot it again. I want to make sure that it's definitely, uh, 
you know, still a good rifle before I buy it. So yeah, look, finally I got out and did it and uh, I am very, very happy with the results, guys. So I stand by my original viewpoint on the Lithgow. They are very high quality and, uh, and made very well. And I'm just so happy that this is shooting correctly again. Now, could it have been just the hot day that I was shooting it on? Perhaps. I mean, you know, it was 40 degree heat and the humidity was right up, so maybe that affected it there. Um, even though I was giving it a lot of time to cool down, it still didn't shoot very well at all. Or could it be that a lot of people have said, you know, you've just got to let these um, have a hundred rounds or so through them before they start really shooting well again. That's what other people have said who have got these. I don't know. All I can say is I've reshot it as you've seen here on film and it's shooting um, to my standard again. So I'm very, very happy. So yeah, ultimately guys, I uh, can't see you going wrong with one of these. They're very well priced and extremely high quality. All right, guys, we'll leave it at that. So till next time, we'll catch you then.